Hello, today I'm going to be showing how to get the Blood Face used for the Ballista Gold. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you any clips of, pe of me doing stuff with it and showing the camera because I hate it when people do that. I just want to know how to get the stuff to it. I don't want people to be showing off and, and just show you all their shots because I know it just gets annoying. Uh, so, first of all, I choose FMJ because one well, of its only downfalls for the Ballista. It's that its damage is quite low. It's like the XPR's damage, I think. I think it's all, I think it's the same. Uh, that's why I choose that because you know it, you just want it to be a really good one shot, one kill, almost any part of the body. Uh, I chose the Ballista CPU because basically you're gonna end up camping with it because at hard scooping because you could. I started off trying to do quick scoops with it, but it just got a bit stupid because the amount of times I was trying to, the amount of times I got to like four kills and then I got killed because I was running around the map. So you're gonna end up uh, hard scooping. I don't like it when that happens and when you're against somebody like that. But everyone's gotta do it to get the balls. They can go back to quick scooping. Uh, yes, that's why I choose that. Uh, thirdly, I choose to take out my secondary weapon because if you go for the Blood versus, you don't want to be distracted by big aim on a pistol. It's also just taking up slots, so you don't want to take it up. So that's why I took out that. Uh, then I used Tactician as well, because for the same reason, you don't want to be trying to get putting down Betty's and Claymore's to try it. So if someone comes around the corner, they'll die, because it's just too tempting to be able to stop the one first of all and be able to just put something down. Uh, but whilst I was using that, I thought sensing me as a shock charge is because basically if you're standing in a room, which you, as I said, you're going to end up having to do because you need to get the blood first use quite, you want to get them quite quickly. Uh, if you have shock charges, you can throw them behind you and if an enemy comes up behind you whilst you're in the room, you can just either decide to jump out the window or try and face them down and try and get a kill from them. Uh, so yeah, you can, or when you're on, if you're running away from something, you can uh, throw it out in front of you and see if anyone's around the corner, and then shot them at the same time, and you can pick it up if they're not there. I also choose sensor grenade, because that's just like a little orbital reset for that area. So you can throw it into a building if you're going to have to go into a building, so you know if there's going to be snipers already there, and then you can go in and get a kill to start you off, and then put a shot charge behind you, and then you can just start sniping. Uh, I choose lightweight because if you're trying to escape someone, uh, you want to be escaping them straight away and not have to turn around and try and face the down if you don't want to. Or they've got like a scorpion, which is just so important. Uh, also, you can get to the spots first before the drone and the enemy snipers, so you can be ready for the enemies to start coming in big bunches and try and get a few headshots from there. Uh, I choose fast hands because it's just really helpful and really easy to unlock. Because it's just if you want to, if you're going to be using shot charges, you can just throw them down really quickly. And if nobody's there, you can just pick them straight back up. You can throw them at people. If you see someone around the corner and they're looking at you and they're about to shoot you, you just quickly you can do it so fast. They're there. They've got sh shocked, and then you can just take them out quite easily. Um. Also, it just seems to make it effort faster and uh, you can keep up the play quite easy. I chose dexterity because, to be honest, as a sniper, apart from maybe awareness, you don't really need any of them because engineer you're not going to need because you're probably going to be staring in the building. Dead silence, you're not going to be chasing after anyone. You're not going to need to be running really far distances. You're not going to need to stop flashbangs or anything because you're going to be in a building. So if they see you, you're already dead, basically. But if you've got dexterity, say you do come face to face with someone, you can just quickly get a quick scoop. And you've got more chance of getting that quick scoop in. So yeah, that's basically it because yeah. So just don't take a second to me, I'm just gonna urge that on because if you go around the if you're tempted to take out your secondary while you go around the corner, there's no point because they've just stopped your blood versus you streak. And you only get one kill then. You've got kill, you'll have to start again or get killed. So you've ended up with the same thing, getting killed. 
So yeah, I hope that's helped you to get goal ballistic and yeah, good luck.